Just getting out of prison in Yuma. Stay tuned for Arrogant Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Arrogant Detectives. Today, we're going to take the mystery out of this gorgeous fine work ball, or referred to FWB. And in German, fine work ball means fine works house. So this is a German-made brake barrel, and this is their new version. It's their sport version. The original was the 124, the first generation, but this is the newest generation. But before we get into that, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button down there below. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's absolutely free. It really is. Also, don't forget about the firearm guards. I'll leave you a link down below. And you guys get a discount code of Airgun. Get your free shipping on those. They work great for taking the moisture out of any of your gun safes, things like that. Also, I want to tell you guys, I don't get compensated for this stuff. If I come across a really good product or something, I just share it with you just as a courtesy. Whether you take me up on it or not, it doesn't make any difference to me whatsoever. I'm just giving you guys that information. You run with it however you want. But I do have to say, I got a buddy Moose out of Michigan, and uh, Moose makes these beard oils. They're just aw awesome. It's uh, Buck and Moose. That's why you guys are noticing that my beard looks so nice right now and shiny. Yes, it does. But uh, we can give Moose credit for that. Anyway, he sent me a couple samples of the uh, beard oil they have. It is pretty amazing. I'm, I'm hooked. He's got all kinds of different fragrances. I'm going to put the website down below for you, and uh, you guys can click on that. Probably make great Christmas gifts. But they're these little, just come in these little bottles. you got all kinds of different fragrances, and uh, they just are awesome. After I shave, I put a little bit on there. And why am I telling you this? Because it's an awesome product, and Moose is a great guy. He's a friend of mine. So I just thought I'd, I'd let you know. So check those out. That'd be good. Also, I want to thank Mike Millick of Flying Dragon Air Guns. He's the reason that I have this rifle right here. He sent it to me to uh, so we could review it. And I really appreciate that because it, it expands the amount of products that I can share with you guys. So thanks to Mike Millick. And he does, um, he can get these rifles if these are something you like. Any of these German rifles, he pretty much get almost just about any brake barrel rifle, under lever type rifle. So um, check him out. You know, that's it. Um, Flying Dragons. I'll leave a link for you below on that. All right. Let's get back to this FWB. We'll just call it the Sport from this point out. This is one gorgeous rifle if you look at this. This gun, this gun weighs about eight pounds and it is one piece of artwork. This is, a, this is an heirloom. You could pass this down from generation for generation. Anyway, this gun's set up. It's got a rear safety here, so it's totally ambidextrous why I really like it because you guys know I'm left-handed. The safety is right here in the middle, in the back here. Let me show you here. Right here is the safety. You can push that in with your thumb or you can pull it out. It's, um, it's a resettable safety, which is kind of nice. It also has comes with open sights, and these are gorgeous open sights. These are, they also have a four position rear sight, so you can change your sight picture here, but completely adjustable. Absolutely gorgeous. If you're one, a person that loves to shoot open sights, this is definitely a rifle for you. In addition to that, um, we've got uh, this Italian crafted Bavarian wood stock. And you got a lot of the inlaid checkering here, which is actually really beautiful. If you see it along here, along right around the hand grip. It's got a raised cheek piece, which is very nice. It's got a match grade trigger. It's a adjustable trigger, which is pretty awesome. We'll go ahead and test that out. The gun's pretty easy to cock. I'm going to say it's probably in the mid 30s. And this would be technically a Magnum type brake barrel. In fact, as I mentioned earlier, the 124 was their first generation, so they just came out with a sports generation. It's a little more powerful than the original. This shoots about 900 feet per second, maybe a little over with lead pellets. So what they did is they tried to dial this in, because you know, at a .177, you can have all kinds of velocity, but your accuracy goes away. So they did a real nice balance with this between velocity and accuracy. As I said, easy cocking, a low recoil for a brake barrel, it really is. It's low recoil. It's got an 18 inch barrel and uh, it's 44, uh, a little over 44 inches total, total length. So it also has 11 millimeter um, grooves, dovetail grooves for your scope if you want to mount a scope. So you have your 11 millimeter. And these range anywhere between the $500 to $700 range. Now you can get these probably from Mike for about $600 completely tuned, which would be a pretty nice gun. 
But it's like anything else, we're gonna take this out, we're gonna test it, we're gonna see how well it performs. I apologize if I'm rushing through some of this. This is kind of a rare entity here. I've been out of town for a week, so I haven't had a chance to do put a review together. So I'm doing this whole thing in one day. So this whole review is shot in one day. In addition to that, I'm editing it all in one day just to get it released for you guys in time because I don't want to disappoint you. I told you I'm going to come out with a review now about every other week. Also, I want to remind you guys, make sure you check out my website because on my website, I am pushing out some, uh, some of my personal stock, different guns and what have you, all the time. I'm adding something different. I still have some of the DPMS, a few of those left. I think I even have one other Benjamin left. Anyway, just check out the website. You can see these things uh, and get more information on that. All right, let's go forward and test this rifle, see how well it performs. We'll come back, talk about it real quick, and wrap it up. Well, let's test our sport over the chronograph, see what type of velocity we're going to get. I'm just going to test it with some basic 7 grain so we can see what the higher end velocity is. But what I'm going to do a little different on this one is after I show you the stats on the 7 grain, I'm going to talk about um, the velocities of some heavier pellets just so you can have it for your information. So we'll cover that after we shoot our five shot group here. So, God, this thing is easy to cock. I'm telling you, not much of a, not much of an effort. So as I said, we're going to shoot our seven grain pellets. Let's shoot five over the crony, see how well we do. All right, 929. That was shot number one. Shot number two. 937. Shot number three. This is not overly pellet picky. 920. Okay, shot number four. 954. That one jumped up. Now, this is a newer rifle. It doesn't have a whole lot of shots through it. Let's do one more. All right, 941. All right, so you see what our average velocity is there and our foot-pounds of energy. Now, keep in mind, that's foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. So a heavier pellet, it might travel a little slower out of the barrel, but then it has a tendency not to slow down as much, so you get more foot-pounds of energy farther down range. So the uh, H&N match, the 8.18 8 grain pellets, we averaged about 853 feet per second on those and we got about 13.2 foot-pounds of energy out of the muzzle. Keep in mind out of the muzzle. Uh, again I'm going to tell you the heavier pellets have a tendency to slow down less so you get more foot-pounds of energy down range. Um, we went with the Barracuda filled targets, the 9.57 grain we got an uh, average of 754 feet per second on those, and that was around 12 foot-pounds of energy out of the barrel. And then uh, the Barracuda match, the heavier ones, the 10.65 grain, we averaged 685 feet per second and about 11 foot-pounds out of the barrel. But I assure you, these heavier pellets are going to maintain more foot-pounds of energy downrange. And keep in mind, this is a .177, so these are more listed as a, a field target. So anyway, those are your different uh, velocities. So let's uh, move on to the next segment. All right, let's see how well our sport does here. A little accuracy test. We're a usual 20 yards back. Go ahead, take a look. We're going to go ahead and use um, these uh, match heavies. They're the 8.18 uh, grain pellet, the H&N Sports. Um, they work pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, we're also want to thank Splatterburst because we're going to use their little exploding targets which are great as far as figuring out where our pellets goes and it makes it easy for me to see at a distance. Um, I haven't had much time with this rifle, I'll be honest with you, I took it out of the box this morning, it's new, haven't even put a lot of shots through it whatsoever. I basically sighted it in and that was it. So we'll see how well we do. Of course, heavy, uh, very windy day today, got a big cross breeze going on. I'm not overly going to use that for an excuse but I have not shot many shots with this. So. I, uh, I haven't had much trigger time with it. So let's just see how well we do. We'll see how well we group. We'll take five shots and we'll go from there. All right. Always keep your hand on the barrel on a brake barrel when you're loading it. Safety reasons. For some reason you bump the trigger, you can get injured, you can dam damage the gun. There's all kinds of things. All right, let's see how well we can group this.
That was me. I'll be honest with you. I felt myself move with that one. Okay. Let's see here. That's more like it. And number three. Okay. And number four. Yeah, not a bad group. Like I said, I just sighted this in with this scope. This is one of the BSA Outlooks. Very inexpensive, but they hold up well on these brake barrels. Actually a pretty good sight picture too. Not a bad group. I'm sure the scope is settling in a little bit as well, so we could we could definitely adjust that for right at point aim. So not too shabby. Anyway, let's move on to the next segment. Let's do a quick trigger test on our sport and we'll see how it breaks. Now this the trigger on these are really awesome. You can adjust the first stage and the trigger weight the whole bit. So they really are a precision type trigger. So we have our trusty Lyman trigger gauge. Let's see how well we do here. Let's reset it. All right. Okay, one and one pound. 5.2 ounces. One pound, 5.2 ounces. Yeah, you can't beat that. These are awesome. But what do you expect? German engineering? Alright, let's move on to the next segment. My favorite part of any review is the plinking portion. Unfortunately, I shot this once already and was flawless as far as knocking targets down, but my battery died in my camera that was up close on the targets. So, we just got to repeat this. Anyway, we're a usual 40 yards back. Go ahead and take a look. A um, little bit of wind today, but uh, we're going to be using our uh, match heavies, our H&N, the 8.18, same one we used in the target, and let's see how well we do. All right, let's see if we can hit that shotgun shell first. Ah, that's a hit. All right, we got lucky. Let's see if we can get the... Uh, Little egg out of there now. Whoa, that hit pretty hard. All right, how about the pipe to the right? There we go. And the red pig. All right. Yeah, that thing does hit. Remember, I was talking about the heavier pellets uh, downrange. You get more foot pounds of ener energy because they don't slow down like the light ones do. These even aren't that even that heavy, actually. All right, let's get rid of that white bird. Wow, hit pretty hard, that's for sure. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. This is a pretty fine rifle. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. So how did our FWB do? Awesome. Did you really think it wasn't? I mean, this is a German engineered rifle. It's pretty doggone amazing. What are the negatives on it? <sighs> there really is no negatives on this gun whatsoever. The fit and finish is unbelievable. I mean, the overall quality is just, seriously, it's amazing. Oh, we had good power out of it. As you show, I showed you some uh, different pellets and what the different velocities were. So the accuracy was excellent. Even, I didn't have much uh, shooting time with this at all. Like I said, only a handful of pellets just to sight that in. And you saw how we did in our accuracy test. What was uh, 0.28 of an inch. And I could have done much better. This rifle's capable of, trust me, half of that without a doubt. 
So, how would I rate this gun? Come on, you guys know. Five stars, without a doubt. This, this goes into that five star category. Um, again, if this is something you're interested in, I'm sure Mike can get a hold of this for you. He can even tune it. Um, it is, this is one of those type of rifles, seriously, the craftsmanship on this. This is one of those that you would hand down from generation to generation. I mean, just the, the overall, just the fit, the finish. And what's amazing is how easy it is to break that barrel, to cock it. It is really easy. Outstanding trigger. Um, I can keep going on about this. But anyway, um, thank Mike again for loaning this to us. So if you want more information on that, you can go to his website. Um, don't forget to check out my website additionally because I'm constantly liquidating some of my inventory. I have so many guns that I've collected over the years that I'm going to have to start creating more room for them without a doubt. So I have a few of the A4s left and some other stuff. Just go check it out, www.airgundetectives.com. Got these great t-shirts, has a few different styles of something you're interested in. Um, and we can go from there. But I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. And if you hadn't, make sure you hit that little subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Other than that, I hope everybody is staying healthy and safe, getting plenty of shooting in. These are rough times right now, and uh, especially with the holidays coming up. But uh, don't forget, this is a special time of the year. Christmas is always wonderful. So don't let any outside sources ruin that for you and your family. So make sure you enjoy every day. And uh, every day we're on this planet, I'm telling you, it's a blessing. So until next time, don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Take care. Be safe.